I just don't know. Looking at a work by Bill Abdale. It's a Brooklyn artist. And um, this is a conceptual work that's on the uh, green wall of the goggle works. It's composed of a bunch of uh, pieces of torn paper that are colored and um, stapled to a wall and actually the papers were ripped from the wall and uh, these are the papers right here the pieces called untitled after wallace stevens and uh, uh, wallace stevens was a well-known poet that was based in the reading area and uh, this is after him the poetry is right here on the sheets however they were ripped off of the wall with only the uh, remnants of the corners of the sheets on the wall. Now the exhibit encompasses the entire first floor of the goggle works and it's quite large. It was curated by Emily Christensen uh, who is the previous director of the Outsider Folk Art Gallery and she gathered these artists both from Brooklyn and Reading uh, to compose this show. Now this is by M Michael Beruba, uh, new work, uh, Brooklyn artist. It's just called Relic. This large piece here that's just sitting on the floor and a bunch of angular panels is also by Michael and it's called Double Sided Triptych. So, very physical pieces. sized work over here now to back up get a good look at it I believe this is also by Michael it's actually a triptych let me get over the get the title of it here for you uh, yeah it's a mesmer Wainwright's acre and torque I decided to come a little late this so that I could take a look at it without uh, having a crowd of people here because these are some big works and they need a little attention and here's the list of it here so I'll give you a second to read that This is also by Michael. This is called Zed. Now this piece here Hmm. This is by Kristen Egan, and this is called Funeral Procession, and it's made of gourds, wood, resins, milk paint. Milk paint, actually, is what it is. So let's get a little closer here.
these are some of the concept sketches for it. And this one's called Last Rites. We have work by Brent Collins. Um, this one is titled Necrophilia. Untitled Necrophilia. This is untitled black and white. Untitled constructed painting number seven, Vanity. Untitled bumpy white. This is constructed painting number six, Caution. get around these also by Brent and this is called the first proposition for the construction of a painting in the post historical age version too Falcon paint and paint cans electric lights now we have an environment in here an installation and this is called KT Tierney installation not one who's unaware of what takes place here. We're back to Michael uh, Baruga's paintings again. He has a large tondo here. Here's everything, even the edges of it. Done in acrylic fabric, glitter, bronze, gold pigment, all this stuff. So he's got a lot, a lot going on. These things are very heavily worked. This piece is called Bead. Come in a little closer here, you can see some of this work. Okay, you know the work by Bill Abdel here. And it seems like he's got a rack with literally hundreds of faces. Inkjet ink jet prints of people printed on these large sheets and I'm not 
quite sure if they're the same people over and over in different transitions here, but it's called 13. So I would assume that it's 13 inkjet pretzels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, well, I must have missed one. Okay, we're now in the other room. And um, we're looking at the paintings of Petros Papalas. And this is Gustavo. There's the oils. And this painting here is called Mike and Diane. This is Jezebel's dance. And this one here is very heavily varnished. And this is oil, gold leaf, and resin on canvas, and it's called the ideal version. Heavily um, covered with resin. This one over here is called The Inevitable Cycles of History. This is also by uh, Papalas, and this is gold leaf spray paint, oil, a number of different mediums on it. Over here we got pl plotters of yesterday, plotters of today. Paper Tigers, this one's called. We'll back off a little bit from this. My camera seems to be having a conniption. at this installation over here which takes up a whole section of the room here and this is called there is no logic to the days this is by Maya Kramer I guess we really have to back away from this one to get it all in there there's a spiral staircase some artificial plants big wall blocked the wall with uh, paintings and text on it so now we'll get a little bit closer so we can inspect some of the details the trees are lined with its newspapers in fact everything seems like it's this either sculpted or resonated paper that's shaped into uh, Stuff uh, would meet with the midwives and wash their feet as an honor. To, so it seems like it's a um, seems like a story, a narrative of some some kind. And this piece here, which is called Woman Number Two. This is Mofongo. This is called Original Installation, created for the Goggle Works, 2011 by Miriam Machita. And, um, it's, it's comp 
composed of a number of different things. We have a, looks like a beaded pig here. And a drawing that's been punched out of the wall. You just have to get a little bit further away from to really see. Maybe you can see it better in your monitors. And now it looks like some mountains, kind of a uh, landscape of sorts. You can see it. Here are some ceramics. Some bones made out of glass. A terracotta skull mountain here. I think we've pretty much covered the entire exhibit now.